Teresa here with Grove Financial and Associates. Today I'm here with Bob and Carla from Appalachian Harley Davidson here in Mechanicsburg and it is Motorcycle Safety Month. So we are here to talk a little bit about some motorcycle safety tips and Bob is going to share some information. Um, first Bob, I'm going to ask you if you could share some information on as a driver of a car who might not be familiar with motorcycle safety, what are some tips as a driver that we can be aware of to help keep everybody safe on the road? Certainly, and thank you so much for coming out here. Uh, the first thing I'd like to talk about with cars is just remember motorcycles are much, much smaller than a car. Okay. Much harder to see. Mm -hmm. And unless you're a motorcycle operator, a lot of times drivers will have what we call inintentional blindness. Okay. Now what do I mean by inintentional blindness? Yeah. Well, when you're driving a car, you see that tractor trailer coming at you real easy. But the motorcycle being so small, sometimes drivers don't focus on that, and they focus on the bigger things, and that's where accidents happen. Okay. Uh, they also have to know that a motorcycle, behind a motorcycle, the tail light on the motorcycle is much, much smaller than, than, than a car. Okay. The stop light itself, it's very, very small. So when that comes on, it's sometimes difficult to see. Okay. All right, so when you're following a motorcycle, maybe you want to give yourself a little bit more space. Okay, that's good. Absolutely. And the last thing that I'd like to say is this. A motorcycle takes much longer to go from 60 to zero than a car. Okay. So again, if you're in front of a motorcycle, if you pull out in front of a motorcycle and they don't really have a lot of room, it takes them a lot longer to stop. Okay. Okay. That's great. And most, I think it's 90% of motorcycle accidents involve a motorcycle actually hitting something car and object, things like that. So again, when you're out there driving, give them a little bit more space. Keep your head and eyes up looking for motorcycles. And we always like to say, look, look for motorcycles. Yeah. Look and twice, save a life, right? Yeah, absolutely. And this time of the year, there oh. are, everyone's out. It's beautiful Everywhere. outside and it is the time for motorcycles to get out and absolutely. get on their bikes and enjoy this beautiful weather. Next, we're going to talk about helmet safety absolutely. for the motorcycle. Great. Well, if you think about it when you're riding a motorcycle, What's the tallest thing on the bike? Your head. Your head? Yeah. All right, your head. A lot of people that get motorcycle helmets generally go with a black one first. So they go with a black helmet. And I'm gonna okay. show you, I'm gonna contrast these two. Okay. The black or dark color helmet is gonna blend in a lot more with the surface. Okay. So it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to see a motorcycle. Okay. okay. Whereas the red one or a brighter color is actually gonna hopefully jump out more for the driver to actually recognize the motorcycles and see them a little bit sooner. Mm, okay. okay, retro reflective material on helmets works as well. You want to be seen again. This is the this is the first thing that a rider or driver's going to see when they're riding on those motorcycles. The helmet, right? Great. So that's one thing. You want okay. To do. The other thing is a lot of people, if you want your helmet to protect you, you have to protect your helmet. Okay. Okay. Now, what do I mean by that? Yeah. All right. Well, the helmet's made up of several different pieces of material, and uh, yeah, there we go, we have two helmets. <laughs> Inside the helmet, we have a material called polystyrene. But before I go to the polystyrene, I'm gonna start with the outside. It's fiberglass, okay? okay? And that's gonna be your first area where stones, bugs, things like that hit and glance off. Okay. okay, if you wanna go a little bit deeper into your pockets, you can get a carbon fiber material, which is gonna be a little quieter and a little stronger carbon okay. fiber. Okay. okay. So you wanna protect that. Inside your helmet, though, is the most important thing. This is called polystyrene. It's just like a styrofoam cup. You can push on there. Yeah. Feel you can push it in. Okay. That's what's designed to take that impact from the floor when right. you get hit. And it's good for one hit because if you notice right here where there's a, where there's a space right there, yeah. I was testing these with some weights. And once that gets compressed like that, it's not going to press anymore. Okay. So that's why they always say if you drop it, if you are in an accident, you don't want to replace it. Replace it. Okay. Absolutely. Great. Absolutely. So the polycyrene material. And you notice the little number I wrote in there, 130. Polystyrene actually starts to deform at 130 degrees. Okay. Okay. So when you put your helmet on your handlebars and when you set it right above your engine, it's over 200 degrees. This is going to start to deform it. It's going to start to lose its value. Okay. So you want to you want to protect this. Okay. When you're... Thank you so much for sharing the information on the helmets. Um, last thing, I'm just going to share that we are going to share a link here because you guys offer. What do you offer? We offer the Motorcycle Safety Program. Okay. The Motorcycle Safety Foundation. Awesome. So we are going to share that link here for you that you can check that out if you're interested in taking one of those classes. The good yeah. thing about the courses yeah. is the price is right. The 
are free. They're free. Oh, absolutely free. So great. Free. So you just click on the link, sign up. It's a free, yep. a free class. Yep. That is great. Do you need to have, like, what do you need to have for that? You need to have a motorcycle permit. Okay. Um, but then you'll sign up for that class. Um, and then they'll get, send you, um, it's an e-course you do for six hours online. Okay. And then you'll come here, you'll do a small orientation with us, and then we put you right out on the range. That's and great. Um, you're out on the range for, I think, what, 10 hours? 10 hours. Yep. Awesome. 10 with, hours. with Bob. With Bob. With That's Bob. Right. That's great. <laughs> so, sometimes. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for sharing you're all that information. Well. Again, we're going to share that link here. Um, and we encourage you, if you're interested in taking that course, to, to go ahead and sign up for that. But thank you so much for your time, both of you. We really appreciate it. And we just want to keep everybody safe so that everybody sure. gets where they need to be um, yeah. safely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.